Hey Dinar enthusiasts, welcome back to my channel. In the latest updates from Iraq, there are some intriguing developments concerning the future of the Iraqi dinar. As conveyed by the Iraq Boots on the Ground report, there's been a lot of discussion about the stability and strength of the Iraqi dinar. According to Firefly, Iraqi citizens are being reassured by their leaders that the dinar is stable and strong, despite its current program rate. This is where the situation gets interesting. Frank26, a well-known Intel guru, has offered some critical insights into this narrative. He points out that a program rate, which is essentially the fixed rate at which the dinar is pegged against other currencies, cannot be considered strong or stable. In fact, he emphasizes that a program rate renders the currency nearly worthless on the international stage. So, why are Iraqi officials telling their citizens otherwise? What's the underlying message here? To understand this, it's essential to delve into the broader context of Iraq's economic situation and the ongoing monetary reform. Firefly mentions that new changes are on the horizon, and once these changes take effect, they are expected to provide a backbone of security for Iraq's economy and banking system. This is a significant statement, as it indicates that the Iraqi government is laying the groundwork for a more stable and prosperous future. But what does this mean in practical terms? According to Frank26, the key to this transformation lies in the concept of security and stability. He suggests that the current moves being made by the Iraqi government, particularly by figures like Alak, who is reportedly in New York, are focused on establishing the necessary conditions for monetary reform. This reform is crucial for Iraq to move away from the program rate and introduce a new exchange rate that would significantly enhance the purchasing power of the dinar. Now, why is this so important? The current program rate has kept the Iraqi dinar undervalued for years, limiting the country's economic potential and leaving its citizens with limited purchasing power a shift to a new exchange rate would not only signal a stronger and more stable currency, but would also inject much-needed confidence into the Iraqi economy. This in turn would attract foreign investment, stimulate economic growth, and improve the standard of living for Iraqi citizens. However, as Frank26 points out, none of these changes can happen as long as the dinar remains at a program rate. For the new policies and reforms to be effective, a revaluation of the currency is necessary. This revaluation would bring the dinar closer to its true market value, reflecting the real strength of Iraq's economy. Moreover, there's talk of introducing lower denomination notes, which is another critical aspect of the monetary reform. These lower notes would be more practical for everyday transactions and would further signify the move towards a stronger currency. However, these new notes would only be viable with a new exchange rate. At the current program rate, the introduction of lower denomination notes wouldn't make sense, as the currency would still lack the necessary purchasing power.